I see. <laughs> okay. All right. So, right. I know we definitely cannot make any claims about diseases, but, um, but yeah, I like how you explained it, that you are assisting in the process of repair. Um, so in what, um, in what areas uh, of suffering <laughs> have you been able to help? So a common one that we have seen is like a lot of uh, patients with spectrum disorders, right? Mm-hmm. Those are easy, easy pickings because is, these are young kids uh, and they have detoxification pathways have been compromised and they have all sorts of uh, symptoms and we call them spectrum disorder. Could be autism, could be Asperger's, could be all kinds of variation, variation of, of those diseases. And while it does not uh, it's it's a condition. It's not a disease. I don't think so. It's a condition. And so if they cannot detoxify themselves, with the help of glutathione, they're able to detoxify themselves and become a functional normal human being. Now, if they stop taking, they go back to right the where, where they were. So only thing it's doing is is aiding the process of detoxification, but is not affecting the disease by all means at all. Right. So that's one component. Now think about it your body has trillions of chemical reactions happening every single day. Every chemical reaction's byproduct is a reactive species. That, that's, the, that's the stress on your body. That stress has to be neutralized. Your body produces glutathione to neutralize the stressors. Imagine if you don't have any glutathione. Mm. So your stress level starts increasing and within no time, right? Within months to years, you're up to your eyeballs, there are all kinds of stresses inside your body. And that's when all the diseases starts kicking in, right? Mm -hmm. Metabolic disorders, oxidative uh, oxidative stress disorders, mental disorders. I mean, the the list goes on and on. Does glutathione aid in all these diseases? No, but glutathione will help with making sure that all the processes are going correctly so that way you can better man, uh, manage all the diseases. I know you're asking for specific disease states. I don't have a specific answer because it affects so many of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm sure you've um, you've seen patients or reported by other physicians when they give people this uh, glutathione spray. Um, I'm wondering, you know, in what um, areas that that there have been improvements noticed? And you said like autism, you've seen improved, uh, I guess, social interactions or or even things like urinary uh, control from the from the kids. Sleep disturbances. One of the daughters that was not sleeping because of her spectrum disorder was able to sleep for the first time in seven years. Wow. And the mom has the tears coming down the cheek because she hasn't slept for seven years either. Oh. Uh, and so you know, that was a very emotional moment. Of course, it did not get rid of the problem, but at least now they're able to sleep at night time so they can have a functioning life. Mm. At this uh, we had a couple of cases where uh, we had uh, anecdotally patient was using it uh, for something else, for maintenance, general maintenance. Uh, and uh, one of the patients, HbA1c, which is the sugar levels, went down. Right. Again, it was just one patient, but it just tells us that if you reduce oxygen stress down, you can literally reduce the sugar levels down. So now your insulin or your diabetic medications are better managed, better controlling the, uh, 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 your diabetes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had cases where patients were using it for uh, for just over general health and the triglyceride levels uh, start coming down. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, they were when people go on glutathione, they inherently are also looking uh, at, at a better lifestyle. So they were they were changing the lifestyle using the glutathione. The triglyceride went down. Of course, uh, as a, me as a biased person is going to is going to say that glutathione reduces the triglyceride levels. But it's 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 the you know right? It's it's a whole story. Right? My patient does always does more than one thing to to get the results they're looking for. Uh, but so we have seen in all kinds of different areas where oxygen stress, if you reduce oxygen stress down, it can, uh, if, if there's a metabolic changes in your blood that the doctors are using it. Um, I have a bunch of doctors that are using it for uh, mold re- related uh, inflammation, uh, biotoxin re- related inflammation, because those inflammatory markers are high uh, and the anti-inflammatory drugs that I uh, approved doesn't work on those patients. Uh, and so they're looking for more natural uh, anti-inflammatory that your body produces and the body produces glutathione. So that, that doctors have been using for those kinds of purposes. Anyway, so 
And and a lot of the doctors, when they use a the product, they don't even tell us what they're using it for, right? Unless they they call me and tell me, oh my God, uh, my my inflammation my inflammation went down. This is I've been battling this for years. My or my 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 knee pain is better now because I I couldn't I, I couldn't believe that it applying four sprays of this glutathione and my knee pain went away mm. uh, temporarily, of course. But you know, still going away for knee pain when the people are suffering is always a big deal. Right, right. And I know a lot of doctors um, in integrated medicine are giving people glutathione infusions, especially if they have some kind of degenerative conditions. So have you seen people doing really well with a spray? So we do have patients, uh, doctors prescribing for their patients or recommending for their patients for neurodegeneration, because there's a study out there that showed that the cyclodextrin molecule combined with the glutathione was actually helping glutathione cross the blood-brain barrier. Mm. Uh, and that study is still ongoing, so I cannot comment on the study as of yet. Uh, there are researchers out there at the university are looking at that molecule to see if it's actually doing that part. There's some there's some technology that they can measure the glutathione levels in your brain by just spectrometry. Uh, so they are doing the study right now, and that is yet to see. Uh, one thing they have noticed is the brain fog seems to be reducing down. Mm-hmm. Uh, and okay. so the brain fog could be, is it because of inflammation or is it because of ne- neurodegenerations? I do not know that part. Mm-hmm. Uh, it could be it could be very well, but just be inflammatory markers in your body that's causing the brain fog, right? Uh, mm-hmm. and so that is yet to come. That is yet to come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I remember hearing you telling me about uh, some of your family members and they've noticed really really great results. So that's uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, a family member is always biased, them. right? <laughs> because they they get free supply from me for so I can get the trials from them. So they're always a little biased. But sometimes <laughs> the blood tests don't lie, right? Mm-hmm. Even though they are biased, I, when I see the blood results that oh my gosh, they are their HD levels are high uh, or the triglycerides are low or the sugar levels are are are, are getting better. And I know that they, they've been misbehaving, eating a lot of carbs and sugars, uh, even though the levels are low, kind of makes you think that, hey, only thing gluten does is doing is reducing oxidative stress. Mm. It's not doing anything with the diseases. It's just reducing oxidative stress. And by doing so, all the other medications that the patients are taking become so much more effective, mm. right? So I think this is a great adjunct uh, supplement for anybody with with uh, that is trying to to bring body under under homeostasis, that's mm-hmm. what I feel like. 